Hello everyone. So in this video, what we are going to discuss is the differences between low invertebrates and higher invertebrates. So before dis discussing about the differences, first you have to remember two points on the basis of these are divided. So see here these are invertebrates, invertebrates. Okay. So these are divided into lower and higher on the basis of their size. What are the bases? First is size and the second is body organization. On these two points are the bases to divide the invertebrates into higher and lower. Okay. So, wait. Let's see the differences between higher and lower invertebrates. See guys here, I have already told you on the basis of their size and body organization they are divided so see remember whenever you write in your exam write in this pattern so that you fetch full marks in the exam first write the character block then lower then higher invertebrates okay so i'm giving you exam pattern also so on the basis of their size lower invertebrates are divided into so as the name is indicating lower means they have a small in size they are generally small in size while higher invertebrates are large in size okay the second thing is body organization how they have body organization so their body organization is simple because they are lower so their body organization is simple while in the higher invertebrates they have complex body organization now let's see how how the complexity comes in higher invertebrates so as the germ layer how is the germ layer in the uh, first take the symmetry symmetry what is the symmetry the symmetry is the division of body into two equal parts animal whose body is divided into see here is something and if it is divided into two equal parts then it is called as symmetry or symmetrical animal so symmetry is of three types the first is asymmetry the second is radial symmetry and the third is third is bilateral symmetry okay so symmetry is of three types now let's see which type of symmetry is found in lower invertebrates. In lower invertebrates, radial symmetry, biradial and asymmetry. Some are radial, some are biradial and some are asymmetrical. But in higher invertebrates, we see only bilateral symmetry. Then germ layer. See what is the concept of germ layer. Germ layer on which the body is made. So they have diploblastic, diploblastic germ layer. Diploblastic means here D is indicating 2. So two layers are found in lower invertebrates. What are these two layers? First is ectoderm, ectoderm and endoderm. Then uh, the ectoderm is found in the outer side of the body. And while in the inner side we find endoderm. Okay. So remember it. Now see. They are diploblastic while they are triploblastic. Triploblastic means they have three layers. What are these three layers? These three layers are ectoderm, endoderm and between them mesoderm is also found. Mesoderm is also found. So they are triploblastic. Then see here the silom. What is silom? Silom is the body cavity found in the animal body cavity so it may be acylomate some of them may be pseudocylomate some of them be trucylomate but in lower invertebrates lower invertebrates are acylomate means in them silome is not found and if the silome is found it is pseudocylomate pseudocylomate means trucylome is not found in lower invertebrates while in the higher invertebrates we find trucylome always we find trucylome so remember this point also then the gut what is gut gut is actually a elementary canal what elementary canal and the name which is known as gut so how is the form of elementary canal in lower invertebrates lower invertebrates element elementary canal is incomplete and non-muscular means incomplete any elementary canal while in the high invertebrates complete what is complete elementary canal complete elementary canal is that in which we found mouth and from mouth to all the parts are found and end it in the anus so complete elementary canal is found only in higher invertebrates then circulatory system 
how is circulatory system in the lower invertebrates circulatory system is not well developed as well as blood vascular system is not found even absent in them while in the higher invertebrates both are found circulatory system as well as as well as blood vascular system both are found in the higher invertebrates and well developed as well what are the examples of lower invertebrates protozoa porifera cylindrata platyhelminthes nematodes these are the five examples of lower invertebrates and these are the five only lower invertebrates protozoa porifera cylindrata platyhelminthes and nematode while higher invertebrates what are higher invertebrates annelida arthropoda mollusca and echinodermis so hopes it is clear now now remember that you just have to remember these point and on the basis of these point you can learn the differences between lower and higher invertebrates so remember the size body organization symmetry germ layer silom gut circulatory system and example on the basis of this you can clearly mention the differences okay so hope it is clear now so guys thank you and if you find it helpful please like and subscribe to my channel